you know, I'd been playing for years doing my own stuff. And then, you know, once I teamed up with Joey, the the, the main thing I, I learned from that was, was from him was just how to be a better musician in the studio because, you know, Joey's known for his drum stuff. But a lot of people don't realize how good of a producer he was, how he could hear something in a raw form and go, I know what that's going to sound like at the end. Um, and I, and I learned that from him. I learned about, uh, just certain ways to do things. And, um, so it was just, you know, not only was it such a great experience cause I'm like, man, this is my, my first record deal. I'm going to get to go on tour. But I was just, you know, I had someone that I had, I had a songwriting partner for the first time and Joey and I, when we came together, you know, I just, I learned so much from him. It was easy to write with him. We just had this instant chemistry, but, I think the mo the thing I learned the most was just I was I became a better musician. I used to be the guy to go in the studio and go, oh, that's good enough, whatever, fuck, let's go. And Joey's like, no, that's not good enough. So it's just uh, he sort of cleaned a little bit of the punk rock off of me and made me go, no, you can be better than this. And uh, and and every time every time we we got together, I I always learned something from him, uh, and that was that was something I always remember every time. And I think I spoke of Joey probably almost every day when we were recording this it's like oh yeah let's do that i think that's what joey would do and i found i found myself saying that a lot like why do i keep saying that you know uh but it's true you know that was just there was so much i wish i could we'd be here for hours i told you everything that that i learned from that guy the the main point of that song was i could do something that gives me a little closure or makes me feel a little a little better but i didn't like you said there's there's some hope in it it's not a sad song it, it's sad but it's not like negative and depressing is it's this it's, it's uh it's hopeful it's got to you know and anyone that's dealt with with death or anything can relate to this and also uh you know joey that's why i mentioned you know dedicated to him for for someone like joey who's well known all over the globe for what he's done and 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 i still see to this day you know in my social media feed just how much he's missed and everything and i thought this would be good for the fans too. Maybe they could get a little closure with this too. And, and uh, you know, so I know some of my close friends that have heard it. They're like, dude, I can't listen to this without crying. I'm like, mission accomplished.